Hello everyone, my name is uh, Rick I'm from the University of Bristol. I'm presenting my PhD work on impact modeling of composite structure. Uh, first is the outline of my presentation. You start with the introduction and aims of my study, and I uh, will talk you through my detail, the mechanical testing and damage assessment, and the validation process for high fidelity impact damage modeling, and then provide solution for modeling for large composite complex structure during impact, and end with a summary. It's a brief introduction in low velocity impact on composite structure. For laminated composites, uh, because this lack of through thickness reinforcement is very sensitive to transverse loading such as low velocity impact and static indentation. Impact events from dropping tool during manufacturing, debris at one way, and even at the ground. A very visible impact damage leave or uh, doesn't leave or nearly leave any uh, physical indentation at the surface of the structure and it's very difficult to inspect during maintenance. And moreover, this kind of damage is easy to propagate under compression. The residual compressive strength reduction could up to uh, 40%. So very, it's very important uh, for design point of view during certification, and it's a very important subject to study for impact damage mechanism uh, in composite structure. Uh, the primary aim of my study is using highly detailed experimentation to investigate global response and damage behavior of laminated composite under impact indentation and subsequent compression after impact. And using that information to validate a high fidelity model to capture the exact shape of each individual delamination, interaction between delamination and the matrix crack, and predict damage growth during compression after impact and to provide a possible solution for large complex structure impact with a reasonable computational cost. Uh, this is a test we did during my study. We used low velocity impact test and interrupted static indentation test to introduce impact, impact damage inside the specimen and we put the specimen into compression after impact rig with three 3D digital image low correlation system to capture the full field displacement during compressive failure, and the damage, the damage will be assessed by C-scan and CT-scan. From the CT-scan we learned is, is capable to give a full damage profile of delamination and matrix crack, and also we found a strong interaction between delamination and the matrix crack, especially for 45 interface delamination, that matrix crack create a stress concentration and ply level that physically interact with delamination and guide the delamination to propagate. This is the, the phenomenon that we want to see in our uh, high fidelity model. Uh, this is a test result during compression after impact using a three DIC system. Two of them is facing to the front face and the back face of the specimen. And, uh, one high-speed camera looking at the region of interest that where the materials fail. And uh, not only does the static uh, linear, linear state of this loading uh, phase can be captured, but also this moment of failure as captured by high-speed camera, the, the, the frame rate is up to 30,000. So we can see that this imperfection that the surface that introduced during uh, impact is very important and is strongly influence the local instability of the structure from the beginning of the loading to the failure. So the idea is using this data-rich experiment, including faucet basement plot from the machine and high-speed image and C-scan, CT-scan, and also a DIC result showing full field displacement to validate and to improve our modeling. So we use cohesive interface elements that implemented uh, in Arsena to simulate matrix crack and demolition. We put multiple strips of interface element at ply level to simulate matrix crack and a thin layer of interface element between ply with different orientation to simulate delamination. So by this uh, approach, uh, the matrix crack 
uh, really physically interact with the lamination, and we're expecting to see similar results as what we, what we saw in the CT scan result. This is a modeling result comparison between a modeling and a CT scan images. So this is a 3D high fidelity solid model. It's not only to give our good prediction on the overall shape of the lamination and the matrix crack, it also can capture the strong interaction between matrix crack and the lamination. Also, each individual delamination, the exact shape of each individual delamination has been captured very well. So because of this highly detailed validation process, we are more confident to predict damage evolution. In other words, what really happened inside the structure and what is the sequence of this damage. If we slow down this uh, video, the first damage will be a bottom ply crack because of high tension. And then there will be more crack around the mid plane. With the help of the shear crack and mid plane, the first delamination appears around the mid plane, where it makes, makes, where, where, where it makes sense that because uh, there is a maximum interlaminar shear stresses. And then this delamination migrate to upper and lower interfaces and further propagate as the load increase. This is uh, a CI modeling uh, to predict damage growth. Similar to what we see in uh, DIC results, we can capture that uh, the surface dent at the top surface and bottom surface bulge develop during compression. And because of this, the local buckling induced the lamination to propagate along the width direction of the structure. And this further provokes instability of the plate. That really help us and allow us to investigate more of what is the possible cause of the stability of the plate with the damage. The only drawback of this high fidelity model is the computational cost. As we increase the fidelity of the model, the number of elements increases. The time required to finish is increases. So it is not realistic to deploy this whole morphology into uh, a large plate. So we come up with this uh, solid shell idea in the global local approach. So we reduce the size of high, high fidelity model into a circular shape, showing at here, just under the impact site to simulate the impact event and to predict damage. And using a shell part, shown at here, at the region away from region of interest where no damage will be induced during impact. To validate this, we actually did a uh, two impact test on the large plate. That plate is lar four times larger than a standard plate that we usually, we, we usually use in a standard low velocity impact. It's 200 mil times 300 mil. Two impact is done on this plate, one at the central and the one and off offset. These two different impacts allow us to study the sensitivity of this model to boundary condition. Again, this gave a very good result in false history and uh, delamination profile. Then we further apply this approach to a large complex structure in this stiffened panel. It's a comparison between the the simulation to a result in found in literature. You can find uh, there's a good correlation in false history and also it's good give good correlation in the damage projection. So by doing this, we can move this high fidelity circular part into wherever we want. We can study the impact threat of a whole structure and also we can study the impact vulnerability of such structure. Uh, to summary of my study, uh, mechanical test uh, and low velocity impact test uh, are, are performed and to study interaction between different damage modes and the propagation 
of damage during compression after impact. And we developed and validate high fidelity model that can accurately depict the damage architecture and also accurately show the damage propagation during compression after impact. And also we develop and validate a solid shell technique which is capable to capture both global response and the local damage in a large complex structure. Uh, this is my contact detail. Please feel free to ask any question. Thank you very much. Thank you.